Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This week over on Instagram, you guys chose the Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black as the deck of the week for water signs. If you want to help participate in those weekly polls and help me decide what deck you want to see for your readings each week, make sure that you go follow me over there. The information is in the description box below. Alright, we have Happy Squirrel. Ace of Cups, the Strength card, and the Nine of Swords. In their energy, we have the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the Chariot, and the Two of Wands. Under the deck here, we have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be on the fire sign, or maybe you have strong fire in your chart. Um, but the King of Wands is, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands. It's kind of interesting. I I kept seeing, like, I was reading it, but, like, in my brain, I just kept thinking, King of Wands, King of Wands. Something significant here. I'm going to be really honest here. I feel like there's a specific energy here. I mean, they may or may not be a fire sign, but this person... You may see them as a player or somebody who's been very inconsistent, maybe a commitment, afraid of a commitment or something, maybe they have cold feet or something like that, or they just haven't really been given to this connection. It's because it's going to be a specific message, I, I already feel. But you know that this person's capable of, of more. Like, they can be more than just like this in and out energy. They can definitely give consistency. Like, you see this person is strong and capable and brave and passionate. Uh, very attracted to this person. The person's fun. They're energetic. They're outgoing. Um, but they're just not in a... I don't want to say they're not in a commitment-minded commit place. But they're just not taking really the action, the effort they should be taking. Does that make sense? Uh, I feel like this is going to be really specific. All right, let's get started here. I'm going to read this like it's you. I'm going to read this like it's your person. But this is a general reading, which means the energies can be flipped or reversed. We have the Queen of Water here, which says... A relationship develops to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and for others. So maybe you've tried really hard to be there for this person. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is you. Maybe you've tried really hard to be there for this person, but they haven't been given equally to you. It's like anytime that they need you, you're there. You're available. Um, you know, if you, and, and some of you, these are intended for love. However, they can resonate in many different areas. It's like you're understanding, you're compassionate, you're nurturing, you're kind, but... I don't know why I'm hearing, mark my words, I'm not going to get played. I don't know where that's coming from. Some of you have been sitting in a place where it's like no matter how much you give to somebody, to a connection, they're just not seeing your worth, they're not making the effort, it's just not, it doesn't feel fair, it doesn't feel balanced, you know, it just feels like a lot of anxiety here in your, in your energy. Um, but this is talking about replenishing yourself. We have six of air, which is air energy, okay? So it says, things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. And it's interesting, because the next thing that I was going to talk about is the happy squirrel. And this is a, an extra card in this deck. And this card talks about me being more lighthearted about things. This doesn't mean, now let me say this, because I know somebody's going to comment and say, well, that's horrible advice. I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't be serious minded, okay? Don't, if you clearly know you're in a situation where someone is not giving you their time, energy, their effort, they're just, you know, ghosting you and, you know, uh, or stringing you along and you're aware, fully aware of this or whatever the case that your intuition says, trust that. But some of you, it's kind of like, take a step back. It doesn't mean if you're in communication with this person that you can't reach out and talk to this person. But it kind of feels like there's a very heavy energy around you. And I feel like it's love, it's life, it's friends, it's family, it's work, it's this, it's that. Scorpio's got a lot going on right now. And Scorpio kind of needs a little bit of a break. Some of you actually may be planning trips with your friends. It just feels like you're trying to get out of this like chaotic 
place of just like confusion and worry and you know just this fear just overthinking everything okay and again this could be a very specific reading and again cross watchers everything can be reversed um it may not be like a physical trip. Some of you could be taking time off work or just like trying to spend a couple of days to kind of really just get yourself in the right mindset. It just feels like a really heavy energy. I'm not saying, and never would I say, wait around for someone or don't have expectations of a future with someone or etc. Not saying that. Please don't misconstrue my words. What I'm saying is, if it's giving you this much anxiety, maybe take a step back from it from the time being. Figure out what you need to do for you because it does feel very heavy. Does that make sense? With the Ace of Cups here, you are looking for love. You do want emotional fulfillment. You want to have a new beginning in love with someone. I feel like this is a newer energy or a renewed energy for some of you. But it's like no matter how much you seem to give, you're just not give, You're not receiving. But you've been stressing yourself out worrying so much. I'm going to go in on some, some Scorpios out there. It feels like you are just giving every ounce of your energy to someone who does not value you or appreciate you what you deserve to be treated, okay? So regardless of whatever their situation, karmic obstacles, blocks, blah, 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 I'm just saying focus on Scorpio and what you need to do right now. Ace of Cups, that is water. You're not interested in playing games. I just keep hearing, I keep hearing like a really strong voice that says, I am not about to be played. And it's maybe you get in this perspective for yourself. We have the strength card. I kind of feel like this is you decided to kind of hold back from a current situation or person. This is Leo energy. It's like, yeah, you want to talk to this person. You want to be with them. You want clarity. You want answers. It's definitely bothering you. You're up in your head. Some of you could be having trouble sleeping. Some of you, like I said, could have insomnia or just feel very restless throughout the day, throughout the night, um, overthinking the situation, just wondering. It's like you haven't took a mental break from the situation because you've been so focused on whatever the, the faults are. Why is this not coming together? What is this person doing? No matter how hard I try, this person just doesn't seem to be given to me equally. Now, here's the thing that we want to know about, right? Three of fire. So we have abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. All right. So this person, here's the thing. This person is in a good place to make a decision. We have the two of air next to that, which says being unable or unwilling to make a decision. A stalemate pretending there is no problem. This person's kind of like off in la-la land, to be honest with you. They're kind of like, Oh, I don't have to choose. I don't have to make a choice. I don't have to get committed. It's like, I'm just going to, you know, drag my feet and do what I want to do, you know, and Scorpio will be there for me because Scorpio is so loving and understanding and giving and compassionate and always going to, always going to be there for me. But the energy, it's like, maybe this person has taken you for granted for too long. And now for all of you, this isn't a horrible person, but I do feel like you definitely need more from them. They definitely need more open and communicative about what they want. Like you can see, I you can see this person, male or female, as the Knight of Wands, and you can see them, the potential to transform into this king. You see internally they are a king of wands. They can make this happen, but they're choosing to stay in this knight position. Okay, this person, they've got all this abundance around them. Things are looking good at this time. Now is the time to make long-term plans, but they're dragging their feet. They're pretending there's no issue. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll do what I want to do when I want to do it. No, 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 no. King of Swords, this person could be a little bit cold to you emotionally, okay? This person's more in like a logical, uh, analytical mindset. Well, I mean, if we get into like a... For those of you who are not dating this person, their kind of mindset, to be honest with you, is kind of like, well, if we officially, you know, start dating, well, then I'm going to have to like really own up to some stuff. It's going to like... They're going to want me to check in and call. They're going to want me to see them every other weekend or whatever. I'm going to drive to them. It's going to obligate me to some things that I'm not ready to do. I'm kind of in my own place right now. This person, it's like they want to be in a selfish place. I um, mean, I just see somebody overindulging here at King of Cups. It's like they have, here's the thing about it though. This person has emotions for you. And this person may actually be one of your soulmates. Now, please keep in mind, we have many soulmates in life. Soulmates can be friends. They can be family. They can be lovers. They can be long-term. They can be short-term. And some of them are in and out throughout your life. Some of them have different pur purposes. Some of them are karmic. Now, karmic, everyone hears karmic, they go, oh my gosh, no, a karmic, karmic is horrible. Karmics tend to be, you know, a negative association. But karmic does not mean person and karmic does not even mean bad. Karmic means lesson. Good or bad, you learn and grow from it. I feel like there's a very strong connection between the two of you, Queen and King of Cups here. Could be a fellow water sign or air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. But this person, they, they, they're dragging their feet moving towards you. But I feel like you pulling back 
it like puts you in your head even deeper into whatever this is but you're trying really hard to enjoy yourself and get through whatever this is while this person makes up their mind you don't you're not about to be played okay you're not about to be deceived by this person now i don't feel like this person has negative intentions but they're just they're not where you are right now we have the chariot so this person is going to be coming in they are going to be moving forward that's cancerian energy this person's making plans to come to you okay there could be an obstacle or a decision that has to be made. It could be in regards to travel. It could be in regards to a karmic partnership with another person. It could be work-related. It could have to do with finances, leaving something behind. They have a decision to make. And this is what puts you in your head because are they going to choose to be committed to this? Are they going to give more to this? I think with you kind of taking this time for you, like I say, this doesn't even mean you can't talk to this person. I'm just saying... Put the focus in on you because you've been worrying about this relationship for too long. It's like no matter how much you give, you, it's like you're watering their grass using up all of your supply of the water that you've collected and then there's none left for the, not, none left for yourself. And they're obviously not replenishing you. That's what I want to say. And again, I, I know a lot of you are going to be like, this is, this is all wrong. This is, some, this is probably a really specific reading for someone. Enjoy yourself. Be more lighthearted. Go for a walk. Go for a trip. Take some time off or whatever. You know, of course, if you can afford to do it, whatever you need to do for you, spend time with your friends, your family, put yourself as a priority right now. It feels like you're trying to be really strong right now. You do want love. And I think this person definitely has strong feelings for you. It's, it's mutual. However, they're coming in here as the Knight of Wands. Now, I do see this person coming back to work on this with you. I see a lot of communication. Look at how she, look, look at this person's like, wait a second, wait a second. Here's this Knight of Wands now, Three of Coins. Look at him. He's like, wait a second. Scorpio hasn't texted me. It's been like three days. Why isn't Scorpio text me? Hmm. What should I, you know what I mean? Oh, it's been like, it's been like a month. I mean, what's going on here? And like, you get what I'm saying? If you're in communication with this person, they're looking over the shoulder like, wait a second. Wait a second. What's going on? And the next thing you know, male or female, here you are. It's like, whoa, you're just doing your own thing, enjoying yourself. And here comes all this communication. Here comes this person trying to come back around. They don't want you to pull away from them. But they need to realize they need to get their act together. I'm sorry if this is a preachy video, but I'm feeling a really strong message for my Scorpios out there. All right. Give me a message, please, Spirit. What is the message here for Scorpio, please? Chemistry. Well, no wonder neither one of you can let each other go. Okay, so chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's a powerful connection. Under the deck, we do have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Maybe they recognize this. Maybe, you know, with you taking a step back, this is this person like, wait a minute. You know, maybe Scorpio was serious when they put their foot down here. This is kind of energy of, like I say, I don't feel like you have to go and slam their, the door in their face or something or, you know, an all-out cussing match through text message or something. But I do feel like this is you kind of like, you know what? I can only give so much to this. If they're not going to replenish me for now, I need to pull my energy back for a little bit. Kind of put the focus here on me because it's, it's, it's really weighing heavily on you. This is you kind of standing your ground waiting for this person to kind of wake up. Some of you may even be moving on to new love. Okay, because it's just moving on from this. This person needs to really get clear in their thoughts here what they want. All right, Scorpio, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.